Hi right, everyone, um, just give you a heads up, there's not going to be much editing for this video, I'm just going to kind of say how it is, um, definitely allowing my uh, inner demons to kick my butt for the last two weeks, um, just been trying to, trying to get out Just a horrible work situation, and uh, saw the light at the end of the tumble that was supposed to be happening on the 24th of February. Apparently, that must have been a uh, a light in the cavern because we got pushed back to the 9th of March now. Um, so I'll pretty much what what's happening is I. I'm stepping down in my current position and going back to one of my old locations I was working at, um, which is less than 10 minutes away from my, my house, um, and I will no longer be salary, I would be hourly, um, and I am taking pretty much a close to a $6,200 pay cut. Um, a year and I think it's gonna be all worth it uh, it's you know finances are gonna be tight you know my wife and I we've talked about how things that we're gonna to have to do to change I'll take care of some stuff that um, we just kind of more back burner that needs to get a hundred percent addressed so there's those issues that will will get by um, but overall I'm excited but I'm getting frustrated that it's taking longer than it really should have um, but I think this is definitely going to help because I'm not going to have to put in 10 12 hour plus days anymore um, I will be you know eight hours a day um, and uh, anything over 40 will actually get paid out to me so um, which is going to be nice um, doing more work that I have done in the past that I felt more, I don't want to say comfortable or at, at ease, like, I just, I, it was more my kind of passion in my, with working um, in this company, so I'm just hoping that's going to help me do some stuff, but, like, I think the biggest overall will be is I'm no longer working late nights anymore, like, I'm not working a closing overnight shifts anymore um i'll be um either opening like at six like the, the earliest i'll be in is at six and the latest i'll be home is nine o'clock and i'm already like, as soon as i knew those hours i was like i can get up at five and get ready for the day um and i can go to bed at 10 like i um have been planning out my routine that I want to start developing as soon and like that's why it's so it's frustrating because I really wanted to start it, it, this this last weekend like on Saturday it would have been like I was I was so close I was there I was pissed me off and it's my current boss that sounds like is the one that's causing the issues um, and they are telling me another story and I'm like this is one of the reasons why I want to leave like I, I'm, I just never felt like I was in a good position to either grow with the company and to move forward I always felt like I was being put into an escape goat position so <laughs> trying to trying to at least save myself a little bit until I can find something better like ugh, the job market's horrible so but yeah it's just I uh, been hard keeping track of calories I've been you know on any day off that I have I'm going to the gym I'm doing my my workout routines that I I do in that time frame um and I've been stable in my weight. Like it's 
you know, yeah, it fluctuates because weight fluctuates on a daily, but it hasn't been drastic. It's like annoying me that I'm still, um, like stalling around the, the 370, 375 mark, but, you know, I'm like, I'm not kind of allowing some other things to beat me up and not taking control of it so but I'm definitely I got eight more working days today I had a little an extended five day weekend took some extra time off um, when I found out I couldn't leave right away well, I'll me get some time <laughs> but and eight more working days at the location, current location. I don't want to get out. It's driving me crazy because I think people are starting to know that I'm taking off and everything's slightly falling apart. And I, I don't want to fix it for them. Like, you teach people how to do stuff and think for themselves on how to do it and because everyone's just not hard enough on people not disemploying fast enough but I like to try to teach people how to do the right things and but yeah it is what it is they can all learn the hard way once I'm gone they get better they get better I'm proud of them but Gotta get back into the calories. Like I'm excited because I'm gonna. Ah, oh, oh, this new schedule. I just wanted to start already because I'm like, I'll be getting off around 2:30, and right after work, I'm gonna go straight to the gym. I'm gonna work out. Um, there for like an hour and a half, two hours, depending on how what my routine is gonna be. Um, I've been trying to look do some research and figure out what I want to do and I think I found a, a four day split that I'm going to do and um, probably you know I'll be able to go to the gym you know five some days in a row depending on how the shift it depends on what time I will go but being able to have something that's a little bit more scheduled in a routine um, is I'm, I'm looking forward to something that's going to be more normal because I really feel like anyone who works after, I say nine o'clock, like if you're not home by nine thirty from your job, I think you have your your schedules definitely get out of whack because you're trying to because when you come home, you at least most people don't go right to bed. If they're that late, they, they're going to wind down. Like, even with the times when I'm coming home at anywhere 1, 2, 3, 4 a.m., like, I kind of spend an hour just to try to mentally wind down and push it back the time when I go to bed. So, I'm looking for it. This is what I'm hoping. I'm just going to make it through eight more working days. <sighs> I'll do it. It's going to help a lot. I think it's going to help with getting rid of a lot of stress um i feel like that's what's really pushing me back is a lot of this stress and dealing with some people who just aren't understanding situations or not wanting to to learn but i'm it's hard dealing with people who's never done your line of work ever But definitely gonna get it more back into more meal planning. I'm like I'm trying to figure out how to like sometimes I don't know if I, I don't really like meal planning, but I know it's important things. It's nice to be able to just grab something, throw it in the microwave or something, and uh, scarf it down. Uh, Cause I'm gonna have to do that for lunches and some. Like dinners every every once in a while, so I can make sure I'm watching those calories. Cause I gotta get certain thing. I need at least about 
a minimum of 200 grams of protein a day um, to maintain the goal weight that I want um, so I'm not losing a whole bunch of muscle as I lose a weight just <laughs> uh, there also is one of those funny things is I was talking to my wife you know the stress I, I, I'm forgetting the, the the medical terms for it but when stress like if you have too much of it and you just allow it to really consume you it holds in can't hold a lot of like help you gain weight and help you like hold it on now I'm, now I'm forgetting all that medical terms but like I feel like as soon as I get into this position I'm gonna like 15 pounds in a week or something because I'm gonna be like oh thank god um but yeah oh, so this isn't this is more of a rambling I'm just kind of frustrated and I was hoping for better opportunities a few months ago that didn't pan through it's just it's been hard and difficult, but sometimes you gotta power through on certain occasions and find other options, and that's what's been going on. So I found that other option, and hopefully this one works out. Um, but the biggest thing is I th I'm, I'm excited to have something that I can actually build, I think, a strong routine with, um, being able to, to get up, every day at a certain time um be a you know do my work get out at a certain time uh, not have to worry about staying super late to finish stuff like oh and the pay the pay cut's gonna be worth it it's so like uh, being able to spend more time with my family, like being able to focus more on my health, it's all gonna be worth it. And, and just I got a week and a half, really, to get through eight more working days. I'll do it. It's not gonna be hard. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much what's been going on in the last two weeks. Hopefully that we can get this uh, done and over with. And the bulk got to stop. The bulk has to stop. I'm trying to get to a point where I can say officially the bulking <laughs> has stopped. So um, thank you all. We'll just catch you later.